In this video, we'll solve some problem using the formula we generated in laws of motion. The first problem is 10 Newton force acts on a body at rest of mass 2 kg. So this is a body which, which mass is 2 kg and we applied a force equals to 10 Newton. If after 4 seconds the force does not act on the body, so suppose is this is the point A and this is the point B. And this force 10 Newton is applied for 4 seconds from point A to point B. So it says after 4 seconds the force does not act on the body. So after 4 seconds there is no force act on the body. From the point B there is no force applied on this body. Then how far will the body move from the star in 8 seconds? So first uh, then it says that then how far the body will move from the start in 8 seconds. So this is the 4 second. It start from 8 seconds means from A to suppose uh, after at the point C the body is stopped so it says that from A to C there is total 8 second so there is total 8 second uh, from because it says that from the start so, so from A to C from A this 8 second how far the body will move so suppose this at the point of C this is 8 second from point A to point C so this is the whole concept of our problem now first of all we know uh, by the help of newton's second law we find out that so this is the solution for the help of newton's second law, we know f equals to ma and we know the mass of this body and the force applied to this uh, to this body so we, we can easily find out the acceleration of this body when uh, the fo force is applied to this body so for that we'll find out a equals to f by m here f is 10 newton and m is 2 kg so the acceleration will be oh uh, so the acceleration will be 5 meter per second square so we find out the acceleration of that body. So this acceleration is applied for 4 seconds. This acceleration is applied for 4 seconds. So now in our previous chapter, we discussed how linear motions work. At that point, at point A, the velocity of this, the initial velocity of this body will be V0 equals to 0. And it moves with the acceleration of 5 meter per second square 5 meter per second square so how far will that go at point b so we find out first of all we find out the velocity of when it come uh, when it come this point what is the what is the velocity of that body the, the, uh, or we can say that this is the uh, final velocity or this is the uh, velocity at point b so if we find out the velocity of point b we know the equation is v equals to v naught plus 80 so this is the v naught plus 80 and we know v naught equals to 0 and a is 5 meter per second and the t is 4 second so the velocity of point b will be 20 meter per second so the velocity at point b will be 20 meter per second now we, we find out some out uh, some and uh, some information from the from our given question so by the help of this all the question or all information we will so now solve the whole problem another thing is the body move from a to b as four second and a to C is 4 seconds, 8 seconds. So, what will be the time required for body move B to C? It will be 8 minus 4, or it will be 4 
second. Now we'll find out the distance between first of all a to b. That is the so the distance between a to b we know a distance equations is s equals to v naught t plus half of a t square and another equation is s equals to v t when v is constant. V is constant. So now first of all we find out the distance of a to b. So the distance of a to b for that we use the equation v naught t plus half of a t square. For a to b we know the v naught equals to 0. So this whole term will be 0. Then we will get only half of a t square. For half of a t square we know the value of a is 5 meter per second per second square. So the value of a is 5 meter per second square and the time required is 4 seconds. So 4 square. So the total distance between a to b is 40 meter. The total distance between a to b is 40 meter. Now we have to calculate the distance between b to c. The distance between b to c. Hence there is no force applied at after point b and so uh, there is no information about friction in this question so we we consider that there is no friction in that path so if as the force is isn't applied and the, or the force is not applied after four second so we can say that uh, the body will move at the 20 meter per second constant speed so the this body will be moved at the 20 meter per second constant speed according to the newton's first law so for constant speed we know the equations of displacement is or the distance is vt here v of b t at the point of velocity of point b so the velocity of point b is 20 and the time for go to b to c is 4 seconds so total is 80 meter so the total distance from a to c is so the total distance s equals to distance between a to b plus distance between b to c so the distance between a to b is 40 meter and the distance between b to c is 80 meter so the total distance is 120 meter so this is the and correct answer uh, that says that after four second the uh, uh, if after four second the force doesn't act on the body then the body will move 120 meter from the study in eight second so the whole distance between a to c is 120 meter this is the first uh, problem which just solved now coming to the second problem the second problem say that a body acquires an acceleration of three meter per second when a force of 7 newton is applied on it is applied. what is the mass of the body so there, there is two part of this question one part is what is the mass of the body and the second part is if the body is acted uh, acted on by a force of 5 newton along with 7 newton force at an angle of 60 degree what will be the acceleration of the body so for first portion uh, first uh, portion we know that a body acquires an acceleration of 30 meter. So suppose this is the body. Suppose this is the body with the mass m, and it goes with the acceleration of 30 meter, uh, 30 meter, uh, sorry, 3 meter per second square when a force of 7 newton. So there we, so there we apply the force of 7 newton. To it. So, what is the mass of the body? So, by the equation of Newton's second law, we can find out. So, the solution of first part is the solution of first part is we know that by the help of the Newton's second law, F equals to m a. So, for mass, we will we can write this equation as m equals to F by a. Here, F equals to seven Newton, and a equals to three meter per second square so the answer will be the mass of the equation will be in floating point which is equals to uh, 2.33 kg so this is the first part of our question now coming to the second part of our question the second part says that 
if the body is acted on by force of 5 newton along with 7 newton at an angle of 60 degree so now this is the this is our body and this 7 newton suppose this 7 newton applied is at that point and 5 newton is applied in that point and they created an angle of 60 degree angle of 60 degree now we have to calculate what will be the acceleration of the body we know the acceleration is 3 meter per second per second square in previous but when another uh, another <coughs> uh, force is applied to that body what will be the uh, resultant acceleration of that body we have to find out that so for that we will use the the law of vector parallelogram so as there is two vector is acting on a body at a point so there will be a resultant vector suppose this is the resultant vector r and for the equation of resultant vector we know r equals to root over of p square plus q square plus 2pq cos of alpha here suppose we take that 7 newton as p and 5 newton as q so for p and q we represent p and q as 7 and 5 we will get 7 square plus 5 square plus 2 into 7 into 5 into cos and the alpha is 60 degrees angle between the two vector so the result will be 10.44 newton so this is the resultant vector the resultant force this is the resultant force of that when 5 newton and 7 newton acted or uh, acted acting on on an angle of 60 degree so now we have to find out what is the acceleration of the body and we know the mass of the body is 2.33 kg so if we use the formula f equals to ma we'll get for the second part we'll get we know f equals to ma and for acceleration you can write f by m we know the f is there is not uh, we sh will write this f as r the resultant vector or uh, resultant force r the r will be r is equals to 2.44 newton and the m is uh, 2.33 kg 2.33 kg so the resultant acceleration will be 4.48 meter per second square so this is the second part of our question hope you understand this problem please like this video and do subscribe to our channel.